everyone, this is Miss Carmen, Children's Services Coordinator at the Pflugerville Public Library, and I want to thank you for allowing me to come in your homes today. We're going to do story time together, okay? Adults, please remember that this is a program for children, but they will enjoy it and get the most out of it if you sit by them. Very well then, with that, let's get started with a flannel story. In this story, we're going to have some farm animals. That's right. Boys and girls, can you see and tell me what this is? Yes, it's a cow. Una vaca. Un perro. A dog. How does the dog sound? Yes, that's right. Woof, woof. And the cow? Yes, that's right. Moo. And this is a duck. That's right, a duck. And what does it say? Quack, quack. Right. A sheep. That's right. How, how does that sound? <gasps> right. Da. And a pig. Oink, oink, oink. A sheep is una oveja. A pig is un cerdo. That's right. A cow is una vaca. A dog is a perro. And a duck is a pato. Very good. And for our story, we will also need a bus. And I know you're familiar with this song, right? and you will catch up pretty quick. We're gonna go something like this. <gasps> the pig on the bus goes oink, 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 oink. The pig on the bus goes oink, 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 all through the town. <gasps> That's right. What's that, a sheep? The sheep on the bus goes ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 the sheep on the bus goes ba, 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 all around town. <gasps> Un pato, the duck. The duck on the bus goes quack, 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 quack. The duck on the bus goes quack, 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 all through the town. <gasps> El perro, the dog. The dog on the bus goes woof, 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 woof. The dog on the bus goes woof, 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 all around town. And our last one, the cow. The cow on the bus goes moo, 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 moo. The cows on the bus goes moo, 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 all around town. Very good. Can you say bye-bye to the animals? Do I see you waving? Bye-bye. Very good. Don't forget. Una oveja, un perro, un pato, una vaca y un cerdo. Bye, good job. Say bye-bye. Awesome. Today, we're going to read The Cow That Clucked. That's right. By Denise Fleming. She's one of my favorite uh, children book authors. She has awesome, awesome stories and very good illustrations too. So, do cows clock? Oh, it must be a very silly and awesome story. Let's enjoy it together, okay? All right, we're gonna read together The Cow That Clocked by Denise Fleming. And we are very, very grateful that Simon & Schulzer is allowing us to do this. The Cow That Who Clocked by Denise Fleming. One morning, Cow woke up to find she had lost her moo. The first thing I must do, said Cow, is find my moo. And off she went. Clock? Who says clock, boys and girls? That's right, chickens do. Cow met dog. 
cluck, cluck, said the cow. Woof, woof, said the dog. It is not you who has my moo, said the cow, and on she went. The cow stopped to nibble grass. Cluck, cluck, said the cow. Bzzz, bzzz, said the bee. It is not you who has my moo, said the cow, and on she went. Cow passed the cat. Cluck, cluck, said the cow. Meow, said the cat. It is not you who has my moo, said the cow. And on she went. How far is she going to go to find her moo, boys and girls? Let's see. Cow cooled her feet in the creek. Cluck, cluck, said the cow. Glub, glub, said the fish. It is not you who has my moo, said the cow. And on she went. Cow spotted a duck. Cluck, cluck, said the cow. And what did the duck answer, boys and girls? <gasps> That's right. Quack, quack, said the duck. It is not you who has my moo, said the cow. And on she went. Cow crossed the meadow. Cluck, cluck said the cow. And what do you think the goat replied? Ma, ma. Oh, it is not you who has my moo, said the cow. And on she went. Then mouse darted past the cow. Cluck, cluck, said the cow. Squeak, squeak, said the mouse. It is not you who has my moo, said the cow. And on she went. Cow stepped into a snake. Uh-oh. Cluck, cluck, said the cow. Sss, sss, said the snake. It is not you who has my moo, said the cow. And on she went. Cow rested under a tree. Cluck, cluck, said the cow. Ch, ch, said the squirrel. It is not you who has my moo, said the cow, and on she went. Cow spied owl. You see the owl here? Cluck, cluck, said the cow. And the owl said, that's right. Ooh, ooh. It is not you who has my moo, sighed the cow. And she headed for the barn. Who's following her? Can you see them, the three little chicks? Cow shuffled past the hen. Cluck, cluck, said the cow. Moo, moo, said the hen. <gasps> hen, cried the cow. It is you who has my moo. Cluck, cluck, said the hen. Can you see the little chickens? And moo, said the cow. And that is the end. All right, everybody, look, I have some friends here. Can we count them? One, two, three, four, five. Five cows. ¿Las podemos contar en español? Uno, dos, tres, Cuatro, cinco. Cinco vacas. That's right. Very good. You, you can put your fingers out, because I know you don't have the cows at home, but you can put your fingers out like this and count them. Let's count them together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Ahora en español. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Very good. This little cow eats grass. This little cow eats hay. This little cow drinks water. And this little cow runs away. 
But this little cow does nothing but lays all day. So tickle, 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 tickle the cow because she laces all day long. And that's it. I brought two books with me today. Hattie and the Fox by Mem Fox and A Year on the Farm by Sue Onstead. And I would like you to read them sometime. In Hattie and the Fox, Hattie looks at different things on a bush and she comes to find out at the end of the book that it is an animal. Can you guess what animal it is? Yes, a fox. A very fun story. And in A Year on the Farm, we talk about A Year on the Farm, but the awesome thing about this book is that it's part of our early reader collection and it's a non-fiction book, which is also very easy to understand and includes a lot of facts that you might want to share with your little ones or they can read by themselves. So there you have it. Two awesome books. I hope you check them out someday. All right, guys, thank you for joining me today. Before we sing our goodbyes, I want to share with you that in your packets, in the packets that we are handing out for free, first come, first served at the library with the Storytime Crafts for the month, you'll find materials to make a cow, a paper plate cow. I hope you make it at home. All right, thank you for joining me today. Thank you, Mr. Jesse, who is on the other side of the camera, making sure that I behave and I do a good job with my video. And, um, I want to remind parents to join Little Flugers. It's a uh, library-sponsored Facebook group. And we share a lot of information and uh, activities in, in that group with parents of kids who are story time age. I hope you join. With that, boys and girls, can you wave goodbye to me? Say goodbye, Miss Carmen. Very good. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon, see you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon on another day. Bye-bye, boys and girls. Stay safe.